Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Kaiko1324 uh, up here today um, with um, the last Star Wars Battlefront <laughs> video. Now, um, I know technically I have another four um, Star Wars Battlefront Galactic Conquest to do. However, I've decided that we're not going to bother doing them on camera. Um, I've played this game quite a bit on um, videos and I think it's time to move on on the PS2. Um, because I've got plenty of games um, that we can play on the PS2 and um, you know I've got nearly a thousand games and um, I've, I've just decided that um, we're gonna finish this today um, you know we've got quite a few um we've got about four battles we're gonna do um, with the joy so um, I'll do the other missions off camera well, I might leave it. If you guys want me to do those other ones, let me know and I'll come back to them in the future. Maybe when I figure out um, editing sides of things. Um, although, saying that yesterday, my last Star Wars Battlefront video, um, I um, meant to, I did technically edit it because uh, I went to a toilet and um, obviously I kept the thing re um, recording cause so, so I didn't have to put the two videos together but um, I thought I edited it out um, I did but it, I must have uploaded the wrong file and I must have deleted the um, wrong file so I apologize for that I just finished this latte. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's go. Best spin. Alright, they're gonna have a uh, Mace Windu. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, um, got a bit of a busy day today. Well, not really busy. Um, Heather's going to go and get a haircut and then we're going to her dad's uh, for a barbecue so that'd be quite nice. Right, let's go. Okay, we get this side. Which is weird because normally we don't come on this side. So. Alright, so let's try and get this uh, carbon freezing chamber. Ah! Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Um, I personally think it was pretty fun. Um, I know I technically could have been a lot better. Um, but I, I'm sorry guys. I mean, I, I you know, uh, uh, Miss Windows down there. <laughs> I mean, um, some series I'm hoping will do good. Um, this series I thought could have been a lot better at least um, some people just didn't seem to be that interested in it it's kind of um, unfortunate really um, I hope that you guys would have enjoyed it a bit more wait Mace Windu's gonna come around here let's see if we can kill him because there is a way to kill him <laughs> Killed him. That's the only way you can kill Jedi heroes. Is knock them off the map. So we did it. At least I showed you guys <laughs> that you can kill them. Everyone's like, you can't kill them, they're impossible. You can. Just gotta knock them off the map. Hey, hello. Oh shit, they got snipers. 
I'm not a big fan of this map. It's a, uh, well, some people really like it. It's a cool map. Um, people have um shit. No, 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 no. You can't. People have actually um made this map in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Which is really cool. I mean, I, I'm I'm gonna get the PC version at some point, so we can um do mods. Cause there's so many cool mods, like new new map, <coughs> new characters, new units. People have made crazy mods. Like they've made like fucking the Legend of Zelda in Star Wars Battlefront. It's it's just crazy. Um. Oh, almost shot my teammate there. Oh, Jordico just died. Where's that? I um watched the Lego Movie last night. Again, um, this is my second time watching it. It's a good movie. I oh fuck. Um, I enjoy the Lego Movie. I haven't seen Lego Batman yet. Um, it is on my to watch list, don't worry guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's um, Camp Do- uh, why did I say Camp Dooku? See if we can get him down the side. Get him out there, there you go, he's out the way. <laughs> he does come back, so... But you can get rid of him temporarily. Um, but that was <laughs> that that was pretty cool. <laughs> I figured that out when I was younger. I thought, like, oh, you can't fucking kill these guys. They're fucking uh, impossible. And then I threw a grenade once and managed to knock Darth Vader off the map. And I was like, oh shit, nay! <laughs> I jumped into that grenade. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these uh, gameplays. Um, I, I, I'm sorry that there's not really a lot of editing and face cam. I think <coughs> what I might do is, is one week I might just like, just have a day where I just mess around on YouTube and on the internet and just have a look um, at some editing techniques. Or even look for a magazine or something. Um, but yeah. Um, I was going to do this video yesterday because I got a new mic, um, from the market. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's the mic or just this laptop. I plug it in and then it just doesn't come up saying that there's anything plugged in. Um, I think it's just a fault with the laptop maybe, I don't know. Because I used to always be able to, whenever I plugged in something, it would come up saying, what have you plugged in? But that don't come up anymore. So if anyone knows how to um, fix that issue, let me know. I mean, it's not a high-end mic, it's just a cheap one I got off the market, but... I thought it might be um, useful, but it seems like it doesn't work at the moment. Oh. Um, but I'll try and get that figured out how to get that working. Um, although saying that this mic isn't too bad, my headset mic. Um, what was I going to say? What was I saying? Um, yeah, so I went into town yesterday, um, and I got that mic obviously. Um, got a bunch of stuff for Logan, just a bunch of uh, clay, clothes and shoes and stuff like that for him. So his clothes are pretty much sorted now. Um, we're going to stop buying some clothes for him, at least for now. No, so he's going to grow really fast. That's the thing about maybe they grow so fast. Come on, get a double kill to end it. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, we got some stuff for him. And Heather technically got me some Father's Day presents. Um, I got a couple of more bookazines. I got, uh, I think it was Retro Gamer Retro Classics Volume 3 and um, and 
I got um, the Nintendo Archives bookazine. Um, I want to get the Sega one and the PlayStation one, but I like I like to have a collection of these bookazines. They're really cool. Um, technically, the retro classics is what ever brought me for Father's Day. Technically, you know, being a father coming soon, um, and she got me. Um, well, because she got Sing, but it was two for twenty pounds. Like, do you want anything? And I was looking, and I just decided to pick out um, Arrow season one. Um, it's a show that I hear is really good, um, and I'm a big fan of comics and you know superheroes. So it's a show that I'll definitely get into, and I know it's. Most of the seasons were on Netflix, that's why I picked up the first season on DVD, because I'll watch it on DVD. Uh, speaking of um, DVDs, guys, um, wait, let me just pause the video quickly. Um, not video. Um, speaking of DVDs, um, the Xbox One, you guys know the Xbox One is a region free, so you can play any Xbox um, One games on the Xbox Three, um, so the Xbox One, um, so you can play Japanese and American games if you have a European console, which is fucking amazing. Because let's be honest, guys, um, region locking is the worst thing that can happen to any console. Because especially me, like I love the PlayStation Two. Um, okay, let, let's be honest, right, there's about 20, not 20,000, there's about 2,000 and something games that were released in Europe. In America, there was only about 800, and in Japan, there was about, you know, a few more, um, about 2,000 as well, um, or maybe about 1,500, I don't know. I haven't done a list for Japan and America. But, anyway, like I was saying, um, you can't play those games unless you have a test system or a region lot, uh, a region free console, or you you know you get the chip out or whatever you do. Um, I don't know how you do it, but there is a way of doing it. I probably could do it if I really put some time into it. Um, but as I was saying, um. The Xbox One is region free, and so is the PS4. Um, now, there's not a lot of American and Japanese Xbox One games out there that I really want or have seen. Um, the PlayStation 4, in my opinion, has the better exclusives, um, and I w I'm man enough to admit that I don't. I don't go. I chose Xbox One over PS4. I didn't. I chose the Xbox One because I had the Xbox 360. And, you know, I was went PS1, PS... Well, I went Sega, PS1, Xbox 360, Xbox One. And, you know, I love I, I love the Xbox One, but I hate it because there are some issues with it. Um, you know, I love-hate relationship. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, I wouldn't trade the console back in to get a PS4. Because, technically, it's mine and Heather's. Well, you know, my mate gave it to me. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, um, the region lock-in is not on the Xbox One. Now, as for DVDs, you guys know I have some American DVDs because I get these sets from um, America. Like, these box sets with 200 movies, 100 movies, 20... You know, lots of classic martial art movies and, you know, westerns and just sort of old movies that didn't come out on DVD individually. But Mill Creek is a, an American company that get rights to these movies and release them as a big bundle. And, you know, OK, let's be honest, they're not great movies, but um, I enjoy them because I love old movies um, I've I've always been the sort of person that's always liked you know the old stuff the old movies old games old music everything you know I'm a bit open I'm very open with things um, 
you know, I'm not exactly this person that's right there in the modern, in the here and now, but I like to look to the past. Um, anyway, so those DVDs require a region free DVD player, which I have, and it works great. The only problem is it's not set up at the moment and it's just a pain in the ass to set up. There's. Because it was down here, but now my PS2 is down here instead. Um, but the Xbox One says online that the DVD player is region locked. But I put in one of my martial art DVDs that I got from America and it worked fine. So I believe that the Xbox One is region free. Now I know a lot of people, um, DVD player sorry is region free. Um, I know a lot of people might be saying, goes, you sure you don't have an American Xbox One? Now I thought that and I goes, maybe. But, I goes, if that's the case, I wouldn't be able to watch my PAL region DVDs, my region 2 DVDs, the European region, which I can watch fine. Now, I might be wrong. Maybe, I don't have any region 1 or any other region um, Blu-rays. Maybe, the DVD player the DVDs are region free, but the Blu-rays aren't. I will have to try and hunt down or buy a Blu-ray box set or something from Mill Creek. Or, well, they don't ship worldwide, so you get them off Amazon. But, I'll have to try and get a Blu-ray from America and see if it works on the Xbox One. Because maybe it's just a Blu-ray player that doesn't um, play other region DVDs. Maybe it's DVDs are fine, but Blu-ray isn't. I don't know. Because there are some DVDs that aren't region locked at all. They're region um, zero, which is um, worldwide. You can play them on any DVD player. But these DVDs are definitely region one, which is US and Canada. And I know that for a fact because it says on the back region 1 and you know I could probably put it in this PS2 and it wouldn't work I'd, I'd know for a fact it wouldn't work so is the Xbox one DVD player or technically a blu-ray player region 3 let me guys let me know guys because I personally think it is maybe when the Xbox one first came out it wasn't but maybe they updated it to work with modern DVDs. I don't know. Not these um, region lot DVDs. We've, captured a We've got two more battles to go, guys. Um, um uh, 50 to 3. Nice. Um, sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, anyway, guys. Um, I decided to end this, um, series because I think that we've done enough on it. We've done both campaigns and we've technically, after this one, done four Galactic Conquest. And I've got four more to go. And there's nothing special about those ones. The only difference is you can choose what side you want to play as instead of being locked to one side. Um, the only thing is, I just don't see the point in doing them on camera. Because technically, I do two videos per Galactic Conquest. So that means eight more videos on Star Wars Battlefront. And when you see how many PS2 games I've got, guys, I want to play some more of these. Now, like I said, I'm not going to do a playthrough on every single fucking game I play. I'm going to do playthroughs on games that I know I 
um, I can enjoy, I'll be able to play through. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't mind the challenge, but I'm not playing a really shitty PS2 game and just struggling and just, you know, stuff like that. So, that's why, you know, playthroughs are, you know, going to be sort of a ongoing thing, but we'll pick and choose. Oh. Um, although saying that we have technically still got a playthrough going on with Dead Island. I haven't forgot about Dead Island. I'm going to come back to it. I might do it tomorrow because if I can do a video tomorrow, it'll probably be Dead Island. And in, in the week, we'll play some more um, PS2 games and just a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'd like to set up the uh, original Xbox and play some of the other Star Wars games, but we'll pick and choose sort of thing what we're going to play. I'd like to do a playthrough on the other Star Wars games on the um, Xbox, you know, like Star Wars... Uh, Republic Commando and the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic game but the only thing with my Xbox is I think it's not what it doesn't work very well the disc tray doesn't open a lot of the time um, but that's just a common problem with it you know I've got that crystal Xbox so um, I got it for 20 quid once with all the hookups including to um including the actual DVD remote and um, uh, the two controllers well one crystal one non-crystal but but um fuck you bitch you <laughs> are um but uh, sometimes I play games on it and they play for about half an hour and then freeze but that just might be the games I don't know I'm looking into maybe getting a disc cleaning system. Um, the one at CEX, they use them. Um, I asked them where would be the best place to get them. He goes, oh, probably Amazon or something. And I go, but exactly what do they do? And he goes, oh, basically they get rid of, um, they take a layer off the top of the disc, which gets rid of small scratches and surface scratches. But he goes, you don't want to use them a lot because eventually it will rub off like the disc. So, for me, it's quite useful because they're about 30 to 50 pounds. Now, um, I know a lot of people go, oh, you can go to CEX or Game or well, maybe CEX would be the best one. Um, and they'll do them for, oh, they'll do them for two pounds a piece, which is a fair price. But when you've got so many games like me, it's probably best to get a cleaning system because it will save you money in the long run and it's the sort of thing that you know a lot of these games that have got scratches on them and DVDs I'll probably watch or play once or twice so you know I, I don't really need to worry about um, you know use it over cleaning them sort of thing so you know I think not I hate these guys, they're very hard to get. If they if they're up close they can fuck you over. Notice how I'm using the try shot more because this is a very good map for shotgun blast because it's very close quarters. Sorry that I don't really play as the other classes. Um I just love the super battle droid or the B2 battle droid as it's uh, properly known. They're sending the supers! Change to the try shot in here. Move in, move in, move in. Nay, I'm dead. Um, but there are some other videos coming next week. I'm gonna do a 2017 DVD collection because I don't think I've done that. Um, maybe not going to talk a lot on the DVDs, I'll probably just show them off, um, maybe just mention a few, a little something about it, but, you know, 
and then I'll probably do a Wii and maybe original Xbox as well but I haven't really changed a lot of my original oh my god I haven't really changed a lot of the original Xbox the Wii has um, changed a little bit but I, I, I don't think I've done a 2017 Wii collection part of me thinks I have I have to double check that. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what videos I've done. I haven't watched um, my videos in a while, so I need to um, watch them and uh, check they're right. Um, the last one I, well, I need uh, what was that King's Tale Final Fantasy game, which I haven't even watched all the way through yet. So that was a pretty fun game as well. Actually, it wasn't a bad game. Not sh not a long game, but short but sweet, huh? Unlike this series, which has been going on for quite a bit. We've only got one more battle to do, so this won't be the overly long um, video, but it's a good way to end the series. So we've done both campaigns and a Galactic Conquest with each army. And unfortunately this Galactic Conquest mode is nowhere near as good as the second one. The second one there's a lot more strategy involved. This, um, you know, because it plays sort of like a board game. Or like um, or kind of like a board game where you have to move your ship and then you have to buy your units and buy your upgrades. Whereas on this one you only get, you get all the units and, you know, it, it's, it was good for its time. But then the second one came out and just sort of went, you know what, we could have made this a lot better and we have. Um, and the PSP games, surprisingly, are very good. Renegade Squadron is very short, very short, about a two hour campaign. Uh, Elite Squadron, on the other hand, was absolutely one of the best Star Wars games on P PSP, if not the best game on PSP. Not best game, sorry, best um, uh, P uh, Star Wars game on PSP, at least in my opinion. And now we're going to Camino. Have you always lost the plot? Mm. How embarrassing! How embarrassing! Uh, so I can't do that as good as I used to. <coughs> <laughs> We've got secondary reinforcements standing by. A replica weapon! I mean you no harm! No, I'll do that. There is no cry. And that was why I fell. They have more units than us because it's their home planet. Our reinforcements have been cut off. Our reinforcements are cut off. Right, right. One thing I actually noticed that I never noticed before. Um, in Star Wars, I think, Revenge of the Sith. They use the voice, like the droid act, the droids have the same voice as um, the Star Wars, the Clone Wars droids. You know, the really high pitch voice, like instead of the sort of um, deeper voice like they have in this game. And also, the Super Battle droids have really high pitch voices as well. Whereas in the cartoon, they have a really deep voice, like Roger, Roger. Well, maybe not like that, but like, whereas, you know, if you've watched the Star Wars The Clone Wars cartoon, you'll know what I'm on about, but I never noticed that until I watched Star Wars um, Revenge of the Sith the other day, well, a couple of weeks ago. And I, th and I think maybe in, even in Attack of the Clones, they had the um, same, I know, it might not have been in Attack of the Clones, I know, uh, but I know they did in Revenge of the Sith, which was really weird, whereas in the first one, you know, they had... A Phantom Menace, they had, you know, 
call us on. I got no compute. Uh, you're under arrest. I, I can't do droid voices that well. You are, you are. But yeah, it was just a little, uh, little bit of a Star Wars trivia there. I, I wonder how many people noticed that. I did. Well, I didn't notice it at first. When it, well, I, obviously the first time I didn't notice it. Be Whoa! Look! Holy shit! That was a shot. Um, obviously you wouldn't notice the first time round because, um, unless you've watched the Clone Wars and obviously the Clone Wars TV show. Well. The remake, well I guess you can call it a remake, well the original was called The Adventure of the Clone Wars, um, came out after all the movies, I think, I think they come out, yeah, definitely come out after Revenge of the Sith, I think it came out in like 2008, 2009, which was, and to be honest guys, Star Wars The Clone Wars is, Fucking awesome. I can't wait for the new season of Star Wars Rebels. Um, I don't think it's as good as as the Clone Wars. I think the Clone Wars was a bit more action-packed. The characters were um, more interesting, I think. But obviously the Rebels is more well-received because it's based around the original, tri um, the original cast. You know, and you've got like... Uh, we haven't seen Han Solo in it, but you've got like Darth Vader's in there, technically, you know, um, and stuff like that. And obviously Ahsoka's in there as well, and Rex, it was cool to see him. Um, I love the, the fact that Star Wars has developed over the years from just being, you know, it was just a movie and now it's developed into, you know, TV shows. Obviously the comics came first, I believe. Um, but it's just amazing how big Star Wars is now. It's like one of the biggest franchises in the world. And we won this battle very quickly. So, yeah. Um, it's amazing to just see how big Star Wars has got over the years. And it w I just think Star Wars will continue to get bigger and bigger. Will it die out? Not anytime soon. Right, let's kill ourselves. Roger, Roger! And there we go. We've um, done all four Galactic Conquests. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, this has been Star Wars Battlefront, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this series, man, just let me know. Um, I won't do the other four campaigns on camera until... I get a, conf um, a request to, if not I'll just do them off camera, because look, I'll just show you, um, obviously we've done that one, that one, that one, and then obviously on these ones, you know, you pick and choose, the only difference is I think that um, certain characters, not characters, sorry, um, the certain, you uh, you just have start different starting planets or something. So anyway guys, that's a complete, well not complete, but that's a playthrough finished. <laughs> um, I'm just looking at my PS2 games and we've got so many to go through. I'm going to go through, just go through the lit, well go through the bookcase and just take them one by one, do a video on them. If I enjoy the game, um... If I enjoy the game, I might do more videos on it and might make a playthrough out of it. If I don't enjoy it, it will just be a one video. But the next game, I can see, is definitely not going to be a playthrough. And that's called Casino Challenge. It sounds so bad. So maybe we're going to start tomorrow, or where, where it'll be Monday probably. Um, maybe we're going to start the... Um, uh, bad or the shitty games. Um, you know, I I know it's a casino game, but it might be um might be bad. It might be a worth a play. Well, you know. So yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this playthrough, um, feel free to leave a like and feel free to comment. Let me know if you want me to definitely.
want me to actually do the other um, campaign, these other campaigns. Um, I don't mind, but I don't want to do them um, straight away. I might come back to them because I think it's time to move on. Um, I know technically I haven't finished The Sims. I haven't forgot about it. I will come back to it. And same with Dead Island. I will come back to it. Um, and of course, feel free to um, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. And uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Tiger1324. And uh, feel free to check me out on Mixer, um, the Xbox Beam Mixer app. Um, I'll be streaming on there every now and again. Um, I'll normally put on Twitter when I'm streaming. Um, I had a few issues the other day while streaming. Um, so. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, have a nice weekend and may the force be with you. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Which probably will be Dead Island. I don't know yet. So have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.